Hello and welcome to the Wednesday, November 29th, 2023 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Today I wrote up a quick uh, diary about an exploit that we sort of see gaining steam for a uh, Microsoft SharePoint vulnerability, CVE 2023-29357. This is a vulnerability that Microsoft originally patched in June. An exploit for it was released late September. And we have seen a little trickle, like one or two here and there uh, of exploit attempts for uh, this particular vulnerability. But uh, yesterday it really sort of uh, started uh, picking up and uh, these attacks came from one particular IP address, 212.113.106.100. The vulnerability itself is really sort of exploited uh, in concert with the second vulnerability, CVE 2023-24955. Now, we didn't see an exploit for the second vulnerability. That would be sort of a follow-up if the first exploit succeeds in our honeypots. We are not emulating SharePoint close enough to actually make the second vulnerability then show up. The Problem here is that the first vulnerability is labeled a privilege escalation vulnerability, but it's really more an authentication bypass vulnerability. It acts as a particular API that lists all site users. That's the name sort of of the API, which includes administrators. And then an attacker can use that information to actually impersonate one of those users. The second vulnerability is then your remote code execution vulnerability that uses the credentials or the privileges uh, being acquired using the first vulnerability. Now, when it comes to the IP address the attacks uh, came from, that's also kind of interesting in that uh, that particular web server that was running at that IP address was compromised and had a defacement page from a pro-Russian anti-Ukrainian, whatever you want to call it, uh, group. So uh, that server was already compromised. That server appeared to be an Ubuntu server based on the Apache banners. So uh, likely not running SharePoint. So not sort of a worm or anything spreading like this, just where this particular group sort of now uses this compromised server as its staging area for additional attacks. And looks like they're now using this SharePoint vulnerability to find additional victims. And for those of you using Microsoft Defender Application Guard for Office, be aware that Microsoft today announced that this feature will be deprecated and eventually removed from Windows 11, and there will be no further updates for this feature. If you're not familiar with it, it's really more an enterprise feature that allows you to limit uh, what Office can essentially uh, do to your system. So the idea here is if you have a malicious Office document, the damage can be somewhat contained. Microsoft states that, well, uh, you can do the same thing now with Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. You just use the attack surface reduction rules. And then, of course, you do have protected view to open documents that were downloaded from an untrusted source and then also Windows Defender application control. Then we got a couple of miscellaneous vulnerabilities to talk about. First of all, Synology released an update for its router manager. This fixes a man in the middle attack that allows execute no execution of arbitrary code. Not a lot of detail here, in particular, no CVE number, no CVSS uh, rating here as well. The Synology advisory page actually looks uh, somewhat broken right now. So maybe just something not properly loading here. And Apache announced a fix for Tomcat fixing a request smuggling vulnerability, CVE 2023-46589. HTTP request smuggling vulnerabilities are really sort of one of those up-and-coming vulnerabilities, seeing them a lot more discussed. 
in part because of modern infrastructures rely more and more on these bucket brigades of proxies and application gateways and the like, which uh, then leads to confusion as to where one request ends and the next one starts. This can often be used to all kinds of privilege escalation attacks and uh, other sort of authentication uh, bypass issues. And Finally, well, uh, yeah, haven't had this in a while, I think. Another zero day in Google Chrome and uh, Google did release an emergency update for this vulnerability. So restart Chrome after you listen to this podcast and make sure you got the latest version. Well, and this is it for today. Thanks for listening. Thanks for subscribing and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.